Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here, and hello <laughs> after um, a, a, a very long break. And to be honest, I had no idea it was going to be as long as it has been, and it's going to be a little bit longer, I'm afraid. Um, the, uh, well, for those of you who are new, um, back in, uh, let's see, I guess it was August 13th, I had a shoulder replacement surgery. And 10 days later, after 10 excruciatingly painful days, I um, went for my post-op and the x-ray showed that the uh, prosthesis that was um, screwed into my bone on the uh, arm side uh, that had a little uh, ball-like thing that rested in a uh, golf tee sort of um, uh, thing, um, that hadn't held and the uh, there had been some enough bone degradation in the in the golf tee apparatus itself that he had rebuilt it, but it had to be completely, they had to, anyway. They wanted to correct it that day, but I take blood thinners, so I had to wait a couple days. And when I had the um, uh, second surgery on the 25th, they used a different apparatus and screwed something in on the golf tee side, uh, creating a fake golf tee. And then they had to screw that in deeply into my bone because the bone the first time had been so soft, the screw didn't hold. So the screw and pieces of all kinds of stuff were floating around in there, uh, banging around on nerves, which is why all the pain and so um, the uh, uh, second time around, they've, they've got a, a larger piece screwed into a um, deeper, um, uh, stronger, harder part of the bone on both sides, the arm side and the golf tee side. And so it's a much stronger um, uh, prosthesis altogether, it, it's going to solve the problem of all the pain that I was having before the surgery, but it will limit my uh, range of motion. So having said all of that, you're seeing my right hand here, and it is out of the, uh, the cast, and I'm, I'm lifting it here just to rest it on the table. I got permission to do this, I can't do it for too long, and I can't do anything with this hand. I can't use it to uh, uh, with scissors um, or to um, apply um, adhesive with my tape gun, nor to um, uh, help with my trimmer. So scrapping is out for the moment, but I, I hadn't done a, um, a layout share since the last batch of layouts. And this one I think started on, uh, this one was done on August 5th. And August, as you know, is my um, anniversary month. And so I had John on the mind a lot uh, and so I'm just going to kind of go through these. I, I, I can't remember everything um, that I need to know about them. I, I do know that this one was made with a, uh, this is a pre-made um, embellishment cluster from a Vicki Booten class. I added a few things to it and then just um, I put it on this page. I had a scrap of yellow paper. I used a hip kit club uh, fringed scallop die for this. I think I was uh, working in a, um, a challenge, the um, uh, summer challenge from uh, Scrapbook Challenges UK. I'm using Vicki Booten, uh, I think every, all the supplies are Vicki Booten, but they're from different collections. And I've got photos of um, 
that my son took. This is uh, looking out our front door at the sky just beyond our across the street neighbors. We're in a, a cul-de-sac. And then from inside, kind of taking, there were some uh, severe storm warnings and then the electricity went out. We had a several hours of a power outage, nothing terribly uh, serious, but I, I really love how that page came out. Um, and, and I love the alphas there. This is a, uh, a page with several photos from the um, uh, concert put on by the, <laughs> the Coral Reefer Band, uh, which was Jimmy Buffett's band. And um, they performed here in At Atlanta on the 2nd of August. And I, I took... I, my son and I both took a bunch of pictures, and I have, um, I have a few that will probably get tucked in somewhere here um, that that didn't warrant. I don't want to. I, I want to scrap them, but they didn't warrant their whole page. And because his signature song from his final album is one called "Bubbles Up." I used some beautiful um, bubble uh, kind of clear stickers that were given to me by Christina Sorge at a retreat we both attended. And I've got some Bramble Fox uh, tropical leaves and um, flip-flops and a title and this little, um, uh, the clock and, and a, I've got my own wood veneers there, but the little clip and this little tropical flower. And I think, uh, I, I took miscellaneous florals from different collections and I ran texture paste on top of them. And that kind of brought them together. I, I kind of really like that. And, and I probably will try that technique again sometime. This one is another one using a uh, pre-made cluster from that same Vicki Booten class. Um, and I fussy cut some uh, butterfly and my arm is really bothering me. So I'm gonna change its, its position and I may start going a little bit faster. I used a stencil to, um, what I call a dirty stencil, is a stencil I had used ink on, and then I ran texture paste, and it picked up some of the ink that was left on the stencil, and I love how that came out. Otherwise, it would have been white on white, but here you get the yellow edges, and uh, here's a photo from... Um, the original, like August 8th, 1981, and I did a, um, a I scrap lifted myself. Uh, it was for my 2000 subscriber hop, and I apologize, I have not um, drawn the winner from that hop. I will do that. Uh, m maybe this week I, I will, it's been kind of hard for me to go through and pull out the names and, and do all the, the stuff I need to do to, um, to get, make that happen. So this was my original, it was a scrap squad scrap lift. And I, um, I use this instead. This is a, a chipboard tag from, um, Oh, I'm, I'm losing it. What I've, what I've got here is a little Vicky Booten, a little Paige Evans, a little Coco Vanilla, some, um, some Vellum uh, Tropicals from the Hip Kit Club. Uh, like I said, this is Coco Vanilla. And I've got 
a turtle um, flare that Scrappy Adam made. This is from 49 and Market. Bramble Fox, um, Spiegel Mom Scraps, just some of my favorite designers and designs all on a on a page celebrating my favorite human who's ever existed on the planet. I even have a flare here from my good friend Di, who, um, and I'm lose this has come up from another page. I don't think this belonged on here. I'll have to figure out where that belongs and I'll put it back. But I have a little <laughs> um, wood, life is a beach here, and then I have this border strip that has the the sand castles. Love that border strip, one of my favorite border punches ever. Um, here is a page. What is this one? This one is from, uh, it's Mixed Media Mayhem and then the Summer Challenge. And I did a, um, I used a stencil and some splatters and I forget what the third uh, element of that was, but I've got washi tape here and these are all um, Vicki Booten uh, collections. I think some of these are from the newest and there are some from the older. And this is from her mixed media and I use some Tim Holtz um, sprays. Okay, and here's another one of those pre-made um, clusters and I added lots of things behind it. And this is a um, uh, collage of photos from the different baseball parks we visited on our road trip in 2016. And <laughs> this is um, because in the summer challenge, one of the, the um, challengers in one of the other teams was Jenny Penny. And I had this photo of Jenny and myself and Sue Davis when we all met up at Portishead when, on, on my UK trip a couple years ago. And this was just the most wonderful opportunity. I've, I've known these two fabulous ladies for many years and they both were very uh, supportive and, and kind of went through um, the horribleness of Ava's uh, illness and then the joy of her recovery. And so they've, they've remained really good friends. And I wanted to, uh, Jenny was kind of a star over on her team and did, you know, like um, many, many amazing layouts. And so I kind of, I, I included her on my page and then I asked, hopefully I don't get points counted off for having a, an opposing player on my, on my page. And speaking of Ava, here she is uh, heading off to her junior year, day one of her junior year in high school. This is another one of those pre-made clusters from that class. And I added this, I think uh, wood veneer was, <laughs> was called for on that day's challenge. And I added it in the holes on there. I had enough different little tiny um, wood veneers that it worked. I just love this page. I'm not sure why I love this page. I, the filter I used here gave it colors that match what I have going on here. And I think that partly is what it is. And then my friend Suzanne Madison, who sent me all these wonderful um, uh, punched squirrels for my baby squirrel pages. And here's another baby squirrel page. This is Katie and Ava playing in the living room upstairs um, when, when Ava was tiny and they were playing with her tea set. And I don't know what the requirements were here, but I pulled scraps from nearly every <laughs> um, 
collection I had on board. I recognize a lot of Vicki Booten, but I think there's some other uh, collections in there as well. And I love this stencil, and I used a glaze, one of Vicki's glazes, to, to do that. And then I did some splatters with one of the Tim Holtz inks. And the color didn't come out as I wanted it, but it's okay. It worked out fine. And this one is a favorite page. I did it in about 10 minutes. And it won best layout that week in the, um, the summer challenge. There's a, uh, you get points for using the different items that are on that week's list. And then uh, at the end of the week, there's a, a judge, Avani, who selects her favorite layout, and that layout gets some extra points, so it helps the your team. Um, this one was uh, was one I, I really love the all of the story people um, elements. They're the, the the little pieces of art that they publish, and I. Uh, unashamedly uh, grabbed this one from Instagram and it says I don't know how to find the world that lives in my dreams but in all of them you are there so I think that's the place to start and I just I have the sunflower which is John <laughs> and the, the turtle which is me I had I needed to use a um, stencil so I have a leaf stencil and used some Vicky Booten uh, neon texture paste. And I used this neon pink to go behind this scrap. And everything here is scraps. And that's my all time favorite photo of John. Just that was from early in our days. I, we may not have even been married then. So that one was done on the 11th. Barrett moved into his college apartment on the 10th and so I did uh, this page a couple days later and I used that same stencil or one piece of it and I used some um, dragged some um, glaze through it and it it wasn't perfect it kind of bled but that actually kind of looks like a shadow effect so I don't mind it I kind of like it. And I have these little tiny stars that came in a set of, um, of sequins, just scraps, bits of scrap, and a proud grandma with her grandson. And he's coming uh, to the house tonight. Um, uh, so I'll get to see him. Haven't seen him since that day. Um, this is a photo. This was a picture of, I love this page. This, <laughs> James and Barrett, at when Barrett was moving into his apartment, recreated this photo of John and James. And this photo was taken in 1992. And this was on the 10th of August in, of 2024. And I titled it, My Guys. And... <laughs> I I love it. I use the same filter on the two so that the the you know <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I just love it. Um, here's another page that has to do with the um, um, the Coral Reefer Band concert in in Atlanta. Uh, when we were walking in, a couple parrot heads. Uh, really liked James's uh, t-shirt. His t-shirt says, in dog beers, I've had one. And so we, uh, one other member of their party took a photo of all of us as we were walking in. And then this was when they were um, playing and you could see all the parrot heads singing and dancing and crying and laughing all at the same time to, to Jimmy's music. It, it really recreated you know, some of those special moments and did a really good job of, um, of honoring the memory of someone who's very special to all of us. Um, 
This is just one of my favorite pictures of the two of us, and I grabbed a bunch of scraps, a lot of sweet rush in here, and I think that might be a color study, and I threw a sunflower on top because that's John and my turtle there for me. And this is a piece of packaging. I just love it. And here is a page that is, I regret that the title is hard to read. So what I think I'm going to try to do is unglue the title and then back it with some white cardstock or something, maybe put it on a, on a ticket, put it on something that it looks like a ticket. And so then you'll be able to read it. And then I don't think that it'll, it'll obscure these ticket pieces that are, that are there. And I think that'll go. This is a multi-photo book that I have created here. And I haven't filled it up. I, and I have quite a few more photos. As soon as I can operate my trimmer to cut those photos out, I will add them to this. But it's kind of a whole uh, book about the day, you know, of moving him in. And I did some hidden journaling here that's on that last page. And so I've got a, uh, I've got kind of built up a, a little section in my album of, of all kinds of things. This was Barrett on his first day of pre-kindergarten. So his very first day of school. And this is about his first, uh, first day of college. <laughs> okay, this is, I think, well, let me, let me go. I'll show you this one. I met, this one was published after others, but uh, I did it way in advance. It was a design team page for Scrap a Sketch, and it uses a sketch and also printables from it uses a premium sketch and it uses a uh, stencil from scrap a sketch and I've, I've i don't think i have well i can't show you the sketch anyway it's a premium sketch it's one of the ones available by subscription from scrap sketch.com and so i had done that one way in advance and this is a photo of my whole family when um I was pregnant for James. That's my brother. That's my sister. That's my mom. That's my dad. That's my grandma, my mom. And so I'll put that there. This is the last one I did. And, and I did it uh, on the 19th. So I did this six days after my first surgery. And I can remember how painful <laughs> it was. All these strips had been cut. I tore them and, and I cut these out, I guess. I don't remember. But I remember that I made a page after that surgery and then when I was describing to um, the PA who was seeing me at one of my appointments, uh, described that I had put the, um, the hand that was in the, the, um, the sling kind of up on the table she kind of suggests that I not do that. So in this case, I'm actually doing one of the exercises that I'm supposed to do. It, uh, it doesn't hurt at the, at the time, but later the pain kind of kicks in. It's not anything like the horrible pain from before. In any case, um, that's the end of the, the, the layout share. And it's enough, uh, that's enough of my um, 
pain and suffering story. <laughs> the uh, timeline is that uh, I I'm doing right now, my days are spent, um, everything takes longer than it used to. I washed a, a sink full of dishes this morning. It took me about an hour and a half. And um, the just, you know, showering and so on and so forth. And the exercises I do twice a day, and, and, and I've been advised to get out, leave my arm out of the sling when I'm not doing anything where there's a danger of moving it in a direction that it shouldn't move. And, and then, then I, uh, I'm really digging deep into my, um, uh, wish list of, of, uh, bingeable, <laughs> um, streaming shows. So I'm watching a lot of, um, uh, uh, British crime dramas and and the like and and Dutch ones and Danish ones and, and so forth. I'm watching a French one at the moment, uh, Candice Renoir, and and I've watched. This is the tenth season uh, that they've finally just released. I forget what the streaming service is that I'm watching it on, probably um, Acorn. And uh, so I, I, you know, kind of, I'm, I'm able to heat up and serve and for the most part eat, you know, everything's fine in other words, except I can't scrap. I, I'm going to try to figure out um, something to do. Like I was thinking one thing I can do uh, single-handedly is probably make some uh, mixed-media backgrounds. So I thought I might try to um, figure out what I want to make and then gather the supplies and see if I can make a video doing some mixed-media backgrounds. I think that might be something that would be good for me to have handy and then um, uh, good for um, future uh, pages when I, af after August, uh, October 8th, I guess, is when I get the sling off and start physical therapy. And at that point, I should be able to do what I need to do with, with these guys to make some pages. So I thank you for watching and I've missed you all a lot. I thank each and every one of you who, who has reached out to me with a note either here on on uh, YouTube or on uh, uh, Instagram or Facebook or text or <laughs> or, or private message, um, it, it means more to me than you'll ever know. I uh, thank you all, and I'll see you when I can. Bye.